Hello everybody, happy Friday. It's been two weeks since our last Facebook Friday. It feels like a really long time, but then it also feels like yesterday, isn't that funny? But yeah, I had to scroll way back to find last week's live to pick this week's prize winner. So it has been a while. I'm excited to be back today. We're gonna use the ice cream swirl bundle. This is a fun bundle, you guys know. This is my kind of bundle. It's got cute images we can color with our stamp and blends. And, uh, Funny enough, the, the stamp set's called Ice Cream Swirl, but we're only using the ice cream on one project. These other cute little images, the strawberry, the donut, uh, the cherry are really fun, and I found some really cute things to go with those, okay? So let me make sure I'm in the right place. Yes, there I am. Let me open it up. All right, before I flip the camera over, I wanna show you guys, every time I show you this, it's under the lights. Let's see if it looks better like this. Yeah, this is the glass mat, you guys, and there's only six days left to get the starter kit with the glass mat. Um, it comes with that. You can see the size of it, hopefully, like that. It's a good size. It's not too big, but it's big enough. Um, it comes with this, which seems to be everybody's favorite part, <laughs> the chamois. Um, and then it also has this, which we're gonna use on our first project, this little um, silicone mat. So this is my last reminder. If you want the glass mat, it's free with the starter kit purchase. The starter kit purchase is $99. You pick out $125 of product of your choice and you get all three of those things, free shipping. If you don't want the glass mat, you can add on $30 in additional product to your $125. Okay, so next week will be March 1st and celebration will be over. So that's my last time to tell you about it. It's, it's a really cool, unique deal. Um, we've never had a glass mat before. I have never, I didn't know I needed a glass mat until I got a glass mat and now I really love it. Um, I move it around with me in here to the different places that I'm working um, and it protects my surface. It helps uh, my photopolymer stamp really well on the glass mat. Um, you save on like grid paper or, or background paper when you're blending, you can do it right on that and then just wipe it off. So it's really cool. I guess I've had my head stuck in the sand. I didn't know glass mats were even a thing until ours came out and then I realized they were a thing. Um, so now I'm glad that I have one. Okay, that is that. I'm gonna flip you guys around because I have a lot of things to show you. And I do wanna mention that you guys have been sending me all kinds of cute cards. Kathy, I don't know if Kathy's watching today. Kathy, I got your box yesterday. Kathy sent me some beautiful little bowls to replace my bowls that I broke. Um, they're beautiful. I'll show you guys. I've been collecting them over here in a pile because I want to show you guys what, what everybody has sent me. Um, I just feel like every week I have so much that I can't take the time to do that. So next week, hopefully, I'll have enough time um, that I can show you all these beautiful cards that you guys have been sending me. So thank you, I just want you guys to know I'm not ignoring you, I am getting your cards, I love them, and you guys are just really sweet and I really appreciate it. Okay, let me make some room. Um, hopefully you guys have had a good week. Um, can you believe we're almost to the end of February? Spring has arrived here in South Texas. It was like 86 yesterday, and as you guys know, I hate the hot weather. and. I mean, although it feels nice, it's the beginning of like eight months of really hot weather and it, it almost makes me have like, like, I don't know, some kind of seasonal act, um, anxiety. And so I know that it, the really, really hot is coming. So it's hard for me to enjoy this, you know, gradual into spring, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine, we'll, we'll survive. I know those of you up north are like ready for spring. Weeds are growing in our yard. We're gonna have to do some yard work this weekend, so. I guess that means spring has arrived. Okay, um, ice cream swirl, we'll get to that in a second. Let me run through some things. I saw Bruno, hi Bruno, how are you? It's good to see you. Hello to everybody else, thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Last Friday was super fun. I went to Waco to visit my daughter who's at Baylor. She's an art major. Um, I shared some of her art with you guys. If you didn't see it, scroll down. Um, she's really uh, exploring her art, <laughs> you know, like doing all kinds of different things. She's, they're doing some fiber. Right now they're doing uh, felting and, um, she's entering, uh, her work into shows and she's, I mean, she's like turning into like 
a little art businesswoman. She's got, um, she's doing, having a booth at places. And anyway, um, she's doing really good. She's, you know, she's my sunshine and rainbows child. She's happy wherever she's at. And uh, she has loved being at Baylor. So it was good seeing her. Okay, so like I mentioned, celebration ends on the 29th. We have one extra day this year, leap day. Um, this, um, <laughs> thanks guys. Um, it, it is beautiful. Um, you know, my mom's a professional artist. Um, so to grow up with my mom and then to watch my daughter grow up, it's just like art on both sides. It's just, it's amazing. I'm creative. I'm not artistic like they are. Um, but it, it has been really fun to watch her. So, um, no, Nancy, I did not get chicken salad chick on my trip. We actually have chicken salad chick here now. And, um, truth be told, I don't even want to admit this to my husband that I've eaten it so much. I'm kind of getting tired of it. <laughs> I'm not tired of it. I'm just like, okay, you need to like slow down or you're going to get tired of it. I love chicken salad chick. It's so good. Okay. Celebration. Um, so this is the celebration catalog that you guys have seen. I'm sure you've probably gotten everything you want out of here already, right? Um, I shared some things in my email this morning, um, ways to take advantage of celebration here before it ends. We only do celebration once a year, January and February. Um, you get something free with a $50 purchase and something free with a $100 purchase. And I know sometimes um, your order doesn't get you to those $100 items, um, and there are some really good ones. Um, if you do a paper pumpkin prepaid subscription, um, if you do a whole year, pay for a whole year subscription in advance, you can actually choose two of the $100 items or four of the $50 items. So it's um, a really good way to take advantage of celebration. And then what they do is they send you a code, you redeem it, and then you're just subscribed for 12 months and you've already paid in advance, which is really nice. So if you're interested in that, um, it was in my email this morning. If you didn't get that, you can go over to the Stampin' Up! website, click the, the three little lines or whatever it is at the top, select paper pumpkin kits and under there there's some information about the prepaid subscription so anyway all of this and then of course they added in this new stuff um there's this cute kit here this little um oh what is a memory notebook um kit the i think these make really good gifts if you have maybe um teenagers or young adults in your life um they really like that kit. Um, the Beside Me stamp set has been added. Botanical layers has been added. Um, stripes and splatters embossing folder. These are the little embossing folders that fit in both our machines, the regular cut and emboss and the mini. Um, this is a level two, which is free with $100 purchase. And I think this is a really good value. It's all the new colors, the stamp and write markers. You can get the Memories and More cards. You can get this other kit, which I haven't even opened. It's the Robot Buddies. It's really good for kids and adults. I mean, not just for kids, but adults too. Um, but if you have a child that you craft with, that's a good one. Um, the Dragonfly Punch, of course. And this one, you guys, have you looked at this little Just Kidding suite in the catalog? It's so cute. And I actually have a class designed for this that's coming. Um, it's going to be a fundraiser class. So be on the lookout for that. If you want to get this paper for free, you can get it free with a $50 purchase through the end of the month. And then the other one, which has to be my very favorite, um, the eclectic paper. What's it called? Everything eclectic. I always forget. No, delightfully eclectic. It's a huge 12 by 12 paper pack. You get four sheets of each pattern. And I used it on yesterday's card. If you saw yesterday's card, these little strawberries, that's what um, this pattern is from this paper. Okay. So that'll be the last time we talk about celebration until next year. You have until Thursday to get your celebration orders in. Don't wait because they do cut it off. I know people who've waited until the very last minute and when they go to submit their order, it's already past midnight in Utah and they lose everything. So don't do that. Don't wait until the last minute. Um, okay, um, this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle features the Perennial Lavender. Um, I just sent this out a few days ago to everybody who have purchased so far this month. You get it free when you spend $50 with me. There are 12 video tutorials in here. Um, they have the measurements in both metric and imperial, and then a link to each video. They're each designed by a different demonstrator. There's 12 of us. Every month we get together, pick a suite, and we each design a project. Um, so this is February's. And I can't even remember off the top of my head 
what March is, is. Somebody knows. Somebody, I'll tell you guys next week. I'll have it ready for you next week. Okay, so also this is available in my PDF store. If you don't shop with me, you can still get it in my PDF store for $15, okay? Okay, I'm gonna leave that over here because I gotta remember to get my tutorial finished. Um, uh, Amy, I'm seeing your question. I know you asked her about Houston is hot in March. To me, it's similar to San Antonio. Oh yes, um, Houston is humid hot, hot, and humid. Now, it'll be March, so it won't be, like, July, but be prepared. Yeah, bring your, like, spring clothes, and, um, you know, it's it's muggy, uh, Houston. The reason why she's asking is because we have a demonstrator event in March in Houston. Um, it's about three hours east of here. It's real close to the coast, and it's, it is the muggiest place, the most, I mean, we're humid here, but over there, like, we're really humid. So, um, yeah, that's Houston. Houston, Houston. It's a giant, giant place. Okay, um, Club Create. So uh, Club Create went out last week. This was um, our February Club Create kit. It also featured the perennial lavender. Um, I have been using these new little envelopes. Um, these little, I don't know, would you call it an envelope? It's like a plastic document holder. And I had somebody email me today that says she's really enjoying them when she gets it. She takes her stamp set and puts it in there. So when she's ready to work on it, it's there, it's all together. So I thought that was a really cool idea. This month, um, I kept the paper 12 inches. Um, I try to do that, sometimes it doesn't always work. I have to cut it in six by six, but this month I was able to keep it in a six by 12. And um, they got a celebration item, they got two frame or two embellishments included. Club grade is $45 a month. This one's already passed, but March's features the trusty tools, and I have collected enough of the trusty toolbox designer series paper so that everybody's going to get some of that in their um, in their kit in March. I love trusty tools; it's very cute. I think these little masculine sets sometimes are just my favorite because they're so unique. And uh, you know, our stuff I think leans towards feminine, lots of flowers, things like that. But when they bring out the the dude things, I love it. The tools, we, I was just thinking today about the golf set we had a few years ago. So I couldn't wait to play with it. I think you guys are gonna like it. Um, it has four cards and a treat holder. Um, my Club Create is $45 a month. It is a subscription. So when you sign up, it will charge you every month on the day that you signed up, unless you cancel and you can cancel anytime, even after just the very first month if you want. But if you stay around for six months on your six month kit you get a $25 product credit for me um, you can order whatever you want and I include it in your kit um, the link for this is at the there's a tab at the end the top of my blog that says club create click that it'll take you to um, my club create page um, there's a link there for you to subscribe there's a link there if you just want the PDF the PDF also includes a video my club create always includes a video it's about usually like between 30 and 40 minutes um, going through all the projects as well as the PDF and you can buy just that without subscribing to the kit um, So Mandy you can buy one you can buy the kit a month at a time All you do is you subscribe and then you immediately cancel So then you're just charged that one time. That's the way to just get one month at a time. Yeah, that I mean, of course you can do that um, Okay, so that's March's the deadline for this is March 7th. So we still have a while for March's kit um, okay, I want to show you guys a class that's coming up. I will list it next week. We have some um, new online exclusive products coming, and one of them is called Latte Love, and it's so cute. I am not a coffee drinker, but I do love these coffee sets. They're very popular. Uh, this one is really, really cute. The paper that is with it is very cute. So I've got a class ready to go. Um, I will open it for registration um, sometime, probably middle of next week, I've got a double K-cup holder and five cards, and the details will be coming out on that next week, okay? So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. All right, um, what else? Is that it? I felt like there were a lot of things I needed to tell you, but I guess not. Okay, well... It's Facebook Friday, so that means there is a free PDF over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. If you guys, has anybody checked it, make sure it's up. Um, 
Thanks. I'm glad you guys like those envelopes. I really, really like them too. I did hear from one person who did not like them and um, it was the first person I heard from. So then I was worried, but then I've gotten a, a bunch of uh, feedback that you guys like those um, plastic envelopes. Club Create's coming in. I'm glad you like them. I, I it may, Honestly, it makes packing the kits easier because the cellophane bags, I have to peel that, that thing off and it is it's staticky and it sticks and I can't, it's, it's a pain. So I, I love these document holders um, myself. Okay, so the free PDF is over there. It's under the last photo. It'll have the supplies and measurements um, for all three projects today. There is a make and take kit attached to Facebook Friday, which means if you like all three projects, you want me to send you a little kit like this. Um, I do that only if you spend $35 with me between now and Monday at midnight, and then I send it to you for free. So you can buy anything you want as long as your order is $35 or more and it uses this host code. I think during celebration, it would probably be smart to bump that to 50 so that you are also getting a celebration item and I will send you the make and takes for free. Um, it comes with all three projects, everything that you need. Um, the only thing not included are the stamps and the, the dies for what we're using. So like you will need the, the these stamps and these dies. I won't cut anything with these dies, but like circles, labels, frames, like those things I will cut for you. Um, if you don't have this stamp set, you can always substitute something that you have, or you can order this. This is actually $53. Um, the bundle is $53, which means you're automatically going to get a celebration product if you buy the bundle. Okay. And here's the host code. If your order happens to be over $150, don't use the host code because then you're going to get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, which is also free stuff. Um, I will still send you the, the projects. If you want to put in a big order, take advantage of celebration, stamp and rewards, don't use the host code, I'll still send you the projects, okay? And so the cutoff for that is Monday at midnight. I pack them on Tuesday and ship them on Wednesday. All right, let me get my Diet Coke. My husband brought lunch home. It was very nice. I eat, lunch is like the hardest meal of the day for me. I never know what to eat for lunch. I, I don't know. I, Dinner, no problem. I have that planned out. Breakfast, pretty much the same thing every day. But lunch, I always am like, what am I going to eat? Oh, I don't know what to eat. So I'm always happy when he brings lunch home, when he goes out. Um, okay, the other part of, that was a random tidbit. The other part of um, Facebook Friday is I always have a prize. So last week's winner is Mary Robbins. Mary, I think I have your mailing address. If it's changed, please email me and I will get this in the mail to you next week. Um, thank you for sharing my video. I appreciate it. If you guys wanna look, it's the Kidding Around bundle, the cute little kids. This is what I'll be giving away next week. All you have to do to be entered to win is to share the video either on Facebook or on YouTube. Nancy, I like leftovers for lunch sometimes. You know, I always think when I'm making dinner, like, oh, this is gonna be good leftover. But then when it comes time for it, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Those leftovers don't sound so good anymore. I don't know why that is for me. My husband will eat all the leftovers though, so at least there's that. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's see. Oh. Um, yes, uh, Marion, if you bought both classes, yes, you will get the all-star tutorial and I will send that to you the day I send the confirmation that your class is shipping, so like next Wednesday. Um, I will send that to you. Um, Club Create, if you add on, if you're a Club Create member and you add on the bundle to your Club Create each month, you also earn that all-star tutorial bundle because then that's over $50 too. Yeah, I try, and sometimes I do forget to send that. Remind me if I forget, okay? <laughs> I try to, after I send out the official email, like, okay, your kid is shipped, then I go back and I send the all-star tutorial to everybody who spent over $50. Okay, okay. let me show you today's first card. Um, I play a, around a lot with the ice cream. I, I couldn't decide how I wanted to do it. There's two different ways, really, that you can do the ice cream. Um, there is um, a stamp, right, which is what we're going to do. But then there's also this die right here, which you can just do paper piecing. So you would cut out the swirl from one color and cut out the... Um, other swirl, I guess, from another color. So 
a lot of our bundles are like that. You can paper piece or you can stamp. Um, and I really actually couldn't decide which card I wanted us to make today. And I ended up going with this Technique one. This one I want to point out has some paper on it that you may not have seen. Um, this is the Xenia, oh, what's it called? Something Xenia paper. It's coming out um, with the online exclusives in March. Um, and it's really cute paper. It has flowers on one side and then it's got all these bright uh, patterns on the back side. You'll see, we're gonna actually do the Xenia uh, bundle next week for Facebook Friday, so you'll see more of that. Okay, so we're gonna do our, we're gonna do our ice cream swirl with watercolor. I wanted to use my silicone mat that came with my glass mat. And so that's what we're gonna do. Let's see if I can find all of my pieces over here. We're gonna start with the watercoloring because it kind of needs to dry. We have two different black inks, you guys. We have Memento and we have Stazon. Memento is what you use with your blends, with your alcohol markers, okay? If you try to use Memento with water, it's gonna bleed and smear. Stazon is what you use when you're watercoloring, it's a solvent ink. But funny thing is if you mix your stays on with your alcohol markers, then it bleeds like this one does with water. So just remember, memento with blends stays on with water, okay? Um, the other thing about the stays on ink is it's gonna stain your photopolymer stamps. That doesn't bother me. Um, and I think there are some things out there that you can get um, to get that off of your photopolymer stamps, but I don't really care enough <laughs> um, because, I mean, it's not hurting your stamp. And actually, you can actually see what you're doing a little bit better anyway. But, I mean, that's not really the point. But just so that you know, it's going to leave that ink on your stamp. There is a cleaner for that, and I can't, we don't carry it anymore, we used to. I don't know if you can use that on your photopolymers though or not. Somebody will know in the comments. Somebody will tell us how to take care of that. <laughs> I can't remember. You, you guys know me, I just throw my stamps back in the case. I don't even clean them, I'm a slob. So, you know, don't, don't come to me for cleaning tips because I will still steer you in the wrong, <laughs> wrong direction. All right, now what I have here is um, I took some bubble bath. I didn't take a bubble bath. I took some bubble bath uh, ink refill and I put it in here. And this is from yesterday. I pre-record all of these for YouTube. Um, and so this is from yesterday. And instead of just washing that away, I thought, let's just use it. And so that's left over from yesterday. And I'm gonna take my water. And I've got a, I've got a little um, dimensional backing in my water. I find those dimensional backings everywhere. Funny story, maybe this is TMI, I don't know, but I found one floating in the toilet one day. I don't know how I got there, but I was like, you know, we have, we're living on a septic now, which I know nothing about other than you can't flush anything. I think we've discussed this and I'm like paranoid about it. So I saw that dimensional backing. And I was like, nope, that's, that's gotta be fished out because my luck, something will happen with that stupid dimensional backing in the septic and then it'll be my fault. <laughs> I don't know how it got there. I'm just saying it was there. Sometimes, you know, the dimensional backings are found deep within your clothing. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure why. Maybe sticking to your arm. Those little, those little dimensional backings are like, I don't know, they're crazy. Okay, I did a full coating of bubble bath. And now I'm gonna go back with some more, like kind of more intense color, more a color that's less watered down and go over some of these. You didn't know you were gonna get a septic lesson today, did you? Facebook Friday. Yeah, I don't, I don't even wanna discuss it. It grosses me out. Everybody out here has a septic. I'm sure some of you do too. It's weird, it seems yucky and oh, I don't know, it's weird. Okay, back to bubble bath. Let's talk about bubble bath ink. I'm doing like every other swirl, making it a little bit darker, okay? There we go. All right, now ideally we'd let this dry and then maybe do that again. But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna do one coat. 
And that little silicone mat, um, you just go in the sink and rinse it. It cleans beautifully. Um, our spots, our little ink spots fit in here really well. I used it the other day. I put several colors in here and used them. Look, there's another dimensional backing. Um, this is a great place to put your ink pad. It's also a great place to kind of wipe things off. I mean, there's just like a million uses for this and I keep discovering new ways that I need to use it. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Now, this is really interesting the way that they made this cone. Um, the die looks like this. And that's so that when you cut out the cone, you fold it in half and it makes like a little tag. Um, and so that's what I did here. And if you'll notice, I put a little pocket in there so that it could be a little money holder. I thought that would be a cute little like grand, grandchild card. You know, you could send them a little money. Although, I don't know, do they even, I heard somebody say that, you know, like the tooth fairy's gonna have to start using Venmo now. The kids don't even have like cash. <laughs> whatever cash still works right you can make a little pocket so i'll show you how to do that so you want to get your crumb cake cardstock so that it's a little bit longer and you can fit this whole thing on here i'm going to stamp the cone and crumb cake down on the bottom and then we'll cut it out like that in a second but before we do that let's bring over our other little things that we're going to stamp. You guys, what is this thing called right here? I kept for the life of me. I don't even know if I know what it's called. It's one of those little like cookie tubes that you get. They come in a can. Our Froyo place has them and I always get them and stick them in their ice cream. I can't remember. They have a name and I knew I'd just wait. Somebody would tell. <laughs> yeah, Trisha, I, I accept gift cards too. <laughs> the Unfortunately, the ice cream uh, cone does, is not large enough to hold uh, a gift card. Just cash, which, you know, cash is good too. Um, pirouette, is that how you say it? Pirouettes? Am I saying, is that really what they're called? Huh, they're delicious. They, oh, no, we don't want stra the cherry. We're gonna do the strawberry. Pure wet cookies, okay. So those of you is like Bruno, if you're still here, do you guys have those over there? Is that something in Europe? Do they have those in Europe? Or is it just here? Pure Pureline cookies? Okay, somebody spell it phonetically for me. <laughs> Cause I don't know how to pronounce it. All I know oh, is they are delicious. They are very yummy. I bought a, a 10 of them one time in recent, in the recent, couple of years I can't remember you know TJ Maxx always have them of course and my girls were like what are these and I mean the can was like gone like in a day they're really good and they're kind of all time timey right like we had them when we were kids um Target brand favorite day calls them rolled wafers well that's easier to say Carla rolled wafers than purelines or pirouettes I'm probably saying it wrong like everything else okay our, our rolled wafer cookie here, I colored in crumb cake. I'm adding a little bit of shading with the darker crumb cake. For the strawberry, I'm just gonna use, um, what do I have here? Real red. And we'll do, let's do the opposite of what I usually do. Let's do dark first. I'm gonna do dark on this side. And then, they have them in Europe, Sonia, okay. Um, and then I'm going to do light. I'm going to blend that over. Yeah, they seem kind of like something that probably came here from somewhere else. They don't seem American like, you know, like an Oreo or a Nutter Butter or something. Now, here's something that we haven't done in a while. I wanted to use Garden Green on here, but we don't, for whatever reason, we don't have Garden Green Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to zoom in just a bit. So I pulled out my blender pen. Do you guys remember blender pens? I haven't used one in a long time. Basically, it's like the tip of a marker and you just get your ink and you color with it. Picks up the ink and it's like perfect. Um, then when you're done, you would run it like this until all the ink is gone and then you can use it on another color. They come in a two pack. I, you know, we used to use these before we had salmon blends. We used to use these all the time. Maybe, maybe other people still use them a lot, but of course my Stampin' Blends have taken over. Okay, so you're gonna cut those out. Look, I already did that. Okay, matching dies, luckily, in the set. 
We don't have to fussy cut. All right, the other thing you're gonna need is a frame, basic white frame, and I am using the largest contour scallop die and the largest radiating stitches die, and I'm gonna cut them together like that. Um, one last thing, you know, I do feel like, let's add, let's see if we, now that it's dry a little bit, can we add a little bit more? I probably need to squirt out a little bit more um, re-inker, but I don't want to. I want to just use what I have. All right. Now, the other thing that I did, where's my glass mat? Well, I don't, you know what, I have good paper. The other thing I did was to take a darker pink, like berry burst stamp and blend and just flick some on like that. Looks like it has like little strawberry flecks in it. Okay, cut the boss machine. Bring it over. There was something that happened last week on our trip that I was gonna tell you guys about. And I don't remember what it was. My daughter, we went on campus, went to the art studio where she's got her, when they become an upperclassman, when you're a fine arts major, you get your own art studio. So she had her own, we went and looked at that. We went and, uh, you know, walked down the hall of the art building. And of course, Miss Sunshine and Rainbows knows someone everywhere we go, everywhere. I'm not kidding, everywhere we went, even when we went to out in Waco. So see how this cuts you guys? And then you fold it in half and it makes that little tag like that. So it would make a good like gift tag for a gift as well when you put the ice cream on it. So we also, if you're not familiar with Waco, it's where Magnolia is, you know, Fixer Upper, Chip and Joanne. It, Waco is, they are actually Baylor graduates as well. Um, they, Chip was there when I was there, but I did not know him. Um, I wish I could say that I did, but I did not. Um, but they stayed in Waco and have kind of transformed Waco into this like um, touristy destination. They've completely changed the city. It's, way more fun than it was when I was there. Way more good foodie places. You're not gonna need this, so save it for another project. But we went to, they have a new um, hotel called 1928, I believe. And we ate there, it was delicious. It was really a cool hotel, very, um, you know, kind of, they, they, decorated it to kind of be like what it was when it op when it would have opened in the 1920s. Dark, color, rich, dark colors, um, really cool tile. I don't know, it was, um, it was fun, we had fun. But of course she saw somebody there she knew. We went to an ant antique store, she saw somebody there she knew. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Ellie, you're the mayor, you must be the mayor of Waco or something. You know everyone, she's like her father. But it's good, it's good to see your child flourishing, you know away from home, doing good, becoming an adult. She also, in her apartment complex, she kind of lives in like a duplex. Um, there's a lot of feral cats and she wants all of them. <laughs> she wants to adopt all of them. And my friend Denise, who I think may be here, her college daughter adopted a cat that ended up costing her a ton of money. Um, there were some medical issues, medical bills, and I keep telling Ellie, you don't have money for that right now, child. Um, yesterday, you guys, she got a, um, there was a cat that showed up, actually it was the day before yesterday, a cat that showed up, and beautiful orange cat, very friendly, came right into the apartment, they bathed the cat, her and her roommates, and she sends me pictures, y'all, this cat is so pregnant, is not even funny. It, the belly is huge. The cat's beautiful. But I'm like, Ellie, you can't keep this cat. It is pregnant. If you keep this cat, you're going to have eight cats. You can't afford vet bills for eight cats. So, okay, here's the point of my story. I know it's taking a long time. I'm going to put this on with dimensionals, by the way. Oh, and I forgot, you know what? We got to bring that cut and emboss machine back over. I got to show you how to make the little pocket. Um, She posted... Let's see, where's my other, I have this other little piece of crumb cake right here. And we're gonna cut out. This is one of those times where I just talk, talk, talk and don't really focus on the project, you guys. Um, so <laughs> if you are annoyed by my talking, I'm sorry. There are individual recordings of these projects on YouTube that I don't talk about my daughter and cats. 
So just, just so you know. Okay, so put your crumb cake piece right there, right? So just kind of right at those little bumps. Yeah, exactly, Denise. Kittens, it's over. This cat, okay, we don't have cats because my youngest is super allergic. My husband is somewhat allergic. My mother's allergic. We just don't have cats. But they're cute. We love cats. We love cat videos. The girls have been begging me for a cat now for a while. And um, so she wants this cat, and it's I'm trying to be the responsible mother. You cannot keep this cat. You, you know, it's a feral cat, and plus it's got like eight kittens in its belly. I'm going to make this a pocket, you guys, by putting adhesive <laughs> on all three sides. Kathy, hi. Um, I'm glad to see you because I wanted to thank you for the beautiful bowls that you sent me. They're so beautiful. You guys, I have one right here. Look, they're the little Walmart bowls. Remember last week I said I broke my bowls. They fell out of the cabinet. Anyway, okay, boy, that's a story inside of a story inside of a story. Um, take your pocket, and then you're going to put it right there. Okay, so, okay, back to the original story. She's, she doesn't tell me about the cat at first. My youngest tells me that she's been posting it over on TikTok and Snapchat and all this. Well, guess what? She posted a three second, literally three second video on, um, not Snapchat, the other one, TikTok. The video went viral. Three seconds, you guys. It had two and a half million views in 24 hours and 35,000 comments of a cat, a cat, a three second video of a cat. I'm like, okay, I've been making videos for a very long time, 12 years. And let me tell you, nothing I have ever done has gotten even close <laughs> to a fraction of two and a half million. Isn't that crazy? All it is is a little cat just kind of crawling, like walking towards the camera and Ellie says, help me name my cat. Boom, two and a half million. That was in 24 hours, 35,000 comments. I, okay, pause the story. We're using this Happy Labels. The reason I went with a sentiment from Happy Labels is because I wanted something small. I didn't want to cover up our ice cream too much. Social media is a weird, weird place, you guys. I mean, seriously, two and a half million, three second. And, ooh, a studio cat, Lisa. Hmm, don't say that. I didn't think about that because then it would be out here. No, no way. The kids would want it inside. When Addie, I, I think I've told you guys this, when we did Addie's allergy testing in the fall, she's allergic to everything. And the thing that she's the most allergic to is cats. Like a five, a level five out of five. So we cannot have a cat. We cannot. She keeps saying, oh, I'll get used to it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm like, no, what's going to happen is that you're going to get super sick. And by that time, we're going to be super attached to the cat that we have to get rid of. I kind of hope Ellie keeps the cat, even though I told her not to. It's really cute. But I mean, it's a, it's a feral cat. It, okay, it's a friendly feral cat. When I say feral, that makes it sound like those cats that are wild and mean. It obviously, there's a, <laughs> it sounds awful. There's a cemetery, a huge cemetery right next to their apartment. And the cat's. I think live over in the cemetery and then come over to the college kids to get fed. Um, but anyhow, my kids, I mean, it is just like constantly one thing after the other. I put all of this on with dimensionals. I put those on with glue. Um, this little pocket is there. We're gonna attach this to this um, pool party card base. Man, I, that this card took longer, much longer than it needed to because I am talking. I'm telling you too much of a story. Um, this paper right here is so cute. You could even cut the ice cream swirl out of this pattern, I think, and it would be adorable. This is the up in the air, you know, the hot air balloon paper. And I cut it the wrong size. It's supposed to be four and a fourth by five and a half, but I cut it four by five and a half and I didn't want to waste it. So we're going with it. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to go with it. There's our frame that we made and we're going to put a dimensional in each corner right here, right here, right here. I'm glad some of you like my stories and that's why I tell them and others are like, shut up and make your project. Um, I should dress like a cat. Now, Mary, that would be more Ellie's style. Ellie probably, Ellie keeps dyeing her hair pink. She's just very artsy. I could see her dressing like a cat. I'm a little more reserved than that. <laughs> Can you leave your cat video? Yes, I will share it, Nancy. I don't have TikTok on my phone, you know. My husband's like, oh, they're gonna they're gonna take over your phone. Can't have it on your phone. 
So I have to go to the website, which sometimes lets me watch things and sometimes it doesn't. Do you guys see what I did? Dimensional, dimensional. But I'll try to get it and pull it up so you guys can see. I mean, it is the dumbest nothing video you've ever seen. Literally three seconds of a cat walking. Not even doing anything funny. I don't get it. I don't get it. And that was yesterday. So now it's probably at like 20 million. I don't know. Crazy. The funniest thing is that, okay, here's the little piece of paper we cut off of here, um, left over, because those pieces come six by six. So don't waste it. Just put it on the inside as a cute little, as a cute little thing. And I'm not going to do it, but you can also to carry over the design, stamp that little strawberry in the corner. Okay. Okay, there you go. Cute, right? And this, if you just want to take this off and make it a gift tag, that would be really cute too. Okay, project one done. It's not about a cat, but apparently that's all that I talked about. I know. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, so I had to see if I could find the video on TikTok. You did? Katie, you found it? Okay, share the link, Katie. 759,000 likes now and 59,000 comments. It's a dumb video, Katie, right? It's so dumb. There's nothing to it. Okay, Katie's gonna share it, hopefully. That's crazy that you could find it. I don't know, you know, maybe I need to be taking social media training from my daughter. She obviously knows what she's doing. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, let's go on. Let's move on to our next project. I, the next project is a treat. I have two treats this week. Usually I try to do two cards in a treat, but this week I really felt like this stamp set leans itself towards 3D projects. Um, Carrie, I put money in the pocket. I just rolled up a $5 bill. See that? I gotta, I gotta remember. Did I tell you guys about, did I? I did. I told you guys about um, what my daughter found at the estate sale, right? That just reminded me that rolled up $5 bill because I was thinking I need to remember to take that out of this card before I give Denise all my cards to pack up. <laughs> Denise, if you find this card, make sure you check it. Make sure I took the $5 out. Just $5, $10, $20, whatever you feel like. Okay, next up. I was at Walmart minding my own business and I saw these. Chocolate frosted donut Kit Kats, king size, only king size is all I could find. Um, you know, Kit Kat comes out with a new flavor about once a year. Um, and I just happened to stumble on these and I was like, well, I need a donut project for our ice cream swirl. My middle child loves chocolate donuts and loves candy. So she, I'm gonna, she's gonna take the SAT in a few weeks. So I'm gonna change my sentiment on this. Instead of thanks, I'm gonna put like, Good luck or whatever on here. They're gross, Lisa. The, the Kit Kats are gross. Don't say that. Really? Are you being serious? No way. I don't believe you. I'll have to crack one open and, believe, and try it. Um, Denise, Dallas is a great place to be. It's five hours north of me, but it's great because it's not quite as miserably hot and humid there. I mean, it does get hot there, but not like South Texas. Um, they get rain there. We don't get rain. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to change the sentiment to something like, good luck. You can do it. You've got it. I don't know. Something like that. So don't forget that you can change these sentiments to anything you want. Okay. Katie just shared the link. If you guys want to see the stupid cat video. Um, where is my simply score? Here it is. Okay. We're gonna use sweet sorbet. And I, the reason I'm using the colors I'm using is because they kind of match the Kit Kat packaging. I always try to coordinate with the Kit Kat package or the treat packaging. Um, and we're gonna use the, the Be Mine paper, which is like the Valentine um, bumblebee paper. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, we're also using sweet sorbet cardstock. And this is my opportunity to remind you all that the in colors, the 22 to 24 Stampin' Up! in colors are retiring at the end of April. You have until the end of April. Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, um, Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, and Tahitian Tide. Those are the five that are retiring. Probably five of my very favorite. Um, in colors of all time. So make sure you have your 
your reinkers. You know, you need this to go with your ink pad so that when it goes dry, you can, you know, reink it. It'll still work 10 years from now. Um, so, and your cardstock, your ribbon, your markers, all of those things. So this is just my PSA before it all runs out and is sold out. Okay, let's make our box. Donut box, six and a half by nine and a half. On the long side, we're gonna do half an inch, four and a half, five, and nine. Then on the short side, we're gonna score at half an inch and six inch. Now, if you guys watch Ellie's cat video, you gotta, she's saying, what should I name my cat? What you should say in the comments is, your mother says you can't keep the cat. That's what you should name it. Don't keep the cat. <laughs> Something like that. So she knows I sent you. She was uh, reading to me some of the, the suggestions for the cat's name. It is hilarious. Okay, um, the lemon ones are full size this year. Now, Lisa, wait, we got to go back to Lisa. Lisa says they're gross, and I just want to clarify that she's talking about the Kit Kat bars. My older son liked it, but the rest of us did not. How can you not like a chocolate bar that tastes like chocolate donuts? Now, lemon... I love the lemon Kit Kats because I love lemon, anything. My family, they hate it. My daughter said it tasted like cleaning products, <laughs> like lemon pledge or something. I thought it was delicious. But that's also like totally different. It's not chocolate. It's like white chocolate or something. Okay, so this is a real skinny box. It's only about a half inch thick. Um, it's symmetrical so it doesn't matter which side you start on um, i'm going to cut the corners off of one end and notice i'm just going to kind of go in an angle there so that this tab that we're going to adhere the corners are already cut off of it and then you just want to snip 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 and i'm not even going to bother cutting the corners off this is so small these are so small it really isn't going to make a difference Okay, so there we go. Um, Karen, that's interesting. You don't, you're not a lemon fan, but you did like the lemon Kit Kats. Interesting. <laughs> Karen, who knows? I don't even ask those questions. She says, how does she know what lemon cleaning products taste like? Who knows? Who knows? These kids these days, you know, they used to eat Tide Pods. Not mine, not my kids, but if TikTok tells them to do it, they do it. I don't know. Okay. Um, hasn't anyone told her don't ask for names? She's get, she's get the catty McCat face. I don't know what that means, Nancy. I don't know. She, that, she told me yesterday the cat was gone. They let it go. They opened the door. He left, she left. Guys, put tear and tape right here. And then all you have to do is fold over, um, to this right here like that. And just adhere those sides like that okay um but then she texted me this morning a picture of her roommate she said she has three roommates she said one of her roommates left the front door cracked in case she wanted to come back and then there was a picture of the cat going back in i'm like okay <laughs> there's a lot of things wrong with that first of all please do not leave your apartment door cracked open okay i mean there's a lot of feral cats around there I mean, we could, we could go down the whole, like, ew, what does that cat have? Like, it could have some, some infestation, something. It's living out in the graveyard, okay? But also, who else is going to come in? Okay, a little bit of tear and tape. Fold those in. Fold this in. Fold this in. Um, the, you know, they're college kids. They're 21. They think they know everything. So, okay, whatever. Don't listen to me. Um put your donut box in, fold over, fold the back and fold the front. And we're going to put a piece of the designer series paper. Feral, feral cats and crazy people. Yes. And uh, yeah, well, I, I won't say what I was going to say, but yes, <laughs> there's a lot of those there too. Um, are these roommates? Well, that's what I wanted to know too. Who, whose cat is this going to be? Are we sharing the cat when everyone graduates? What's going to happen to the cat? You know, who's paying for the kitten C-section that's probably going, probably going to need to happen, you know. I mean, you're only, you're, you're, a cat only needs a C-section when it's a feral cat and there's college kids around. Um, who's going to pay for the shots? Who's going, you know, I mean, they, 
you know what it's like to be 21? Living on your own. You just do what you want. I adopted a dog in college. My mother was very quick to remind me. Um, did not end well. Well, okay, that sounds bad. I ended up having to rehome the dog because obviously I didn't have enough time for it. Border Collie in an apartment. I was 21 and I was stupid. So, you know, we do dumb things when we're 21. This ribbon is real cute. It's also an online exclusive. Pecan pie stripe down very vanilla. So because the ribbon is vanilla, I'm using vanilla for all the other things. Um, we're gonna stamp the donut five times. Okay, five times memento black on very vanilla. Um, I really struggled with how to color these donuts because in my mind, I'm like, you know, what should, what should they look like? And then I was like, you know what? I'm overthinking this. Let's just go with the colors that are in the paper. So sweet sorbet, pecan pie, um, crumb cake, and petal pink. So we're gonna do two that are um, sweet sorbet and pecan pie. So I'm using light sweet sorbet and light pecan pie. Um, I colored about 30 of these the other day just sitting in front of the TV. They, they do take a little bit of time. Um, you know, they're small, but you gotta make sure you're staying in the lines. You guys, we have some really, really cute online exclusives coming out. It just made me think of, I'm doing a swap with my team using one that has a cute little wagon. It's gonna require some coloring in front of the TV tonight. Really cute, so March 1st, you guys have to make sure you check out the online, no, no, March 5th. You have to make sure you check out the online exclusives. All right, I'm not gonna color all of these. I just want to show you um, how I done it. You wanna probably vary your coloring so that sometimes it has three chocolate stripes, sometimes it has two chocolate stripes. Do petal pink. Name the cat Rumi, but spell it Rumi. That's okay, Lisa, go comment. That's very cute. I told her Clementine. She came up with a stupid, stupid name. Hold on, let me tell you what the name is. I told her absolutely that cat, first of all, does not even need to be named, but also that's the dumbest name I ever heard of. Hold on, let me pull up my text and see what she said. Um, Bingus with a B, Bingus, B-I-N-G-U-S. What kind of name is Bingus? That poor cat's like, I'm out of here. You can't name me better than that. People were saying the funniest things on there. I mean, I can't even think of any of them right now, but they were really funny. Let's see, she sent me a screenshot of some of them. Um, oh, one said to name the cat Louisiana Purchase. <laughs> one said, Miss Demeanor. Um, one said, where is it? Oh, now my iPad's not working. I don't know. You need to read through. It's funny. I mean, it is funny. I'm having a hard time not getting sucked into this cute cat. All right. Cut your five donuts out after you've colored them. Let me show you which die does not require fussy cutting. It's got this die, this die right here. Um, it also is going to cut out that little center circle. Okay, and then because our donuts should be sparkly, let's just add some Wink of Stella to them as well. A little bit of Wink of Stella. Hey, our Wink of Stella has been out of stock for a while and I haven't gotten a straight story on that. I don't know what's going on and I need a new Wink of Stella just letting you know there's some, some kind of stock situation. Also, um, heads up on our embossing powder. Um, embossing powder is changing in the new catalog. And so we've run out of our current stock of however we're use, doing it now. So we won't have embossing powder again until they said maybe the fall. So just a heads up on the embossing powder situation. I don't even know what to tell you about that. Um, okay, FedEx, your swap. Actually, Nancy, I'm hand delivering these. <laughs> I know, I'm, I know. Um, I, this, my, my friend Anne Marie um, is our swap coordinator. Sweet Sorbet, very vanilla. This is from um, the new die set called Everyday Essentials. Everyday Essentials? Everyday Details. Um, and so she doesn't live far from me, although sometimes I have been known to mail them to her because I'm lazy. I told you, I'm lazy, very lazy. 
All right, this is a crumb cake uh, contour scallop rectangle. We're gonna put everything on with dimensionals. Um, now that I went through that swap debacle, I don't think I will ever do that. Can you imagine if I mailed them to her? She probably lives 10 miles from me, maybe. And then they got lost in the mail. I'd be real mad. I'd be very, very mad. Um, Bingus, I know. Angel, what kind of name is that? What does that even mean? For smart college girls, that's a dumb name. Y'all can think of something better than that. Come on. Clementine, I vote for Clem. They you call her Clem. Isn't that cute? A little Clementine. Um, Susan, no, I don't know. I haven't seen any info. You know, the um, she asked if any of the celebration items have run out. The, um, what am I trying to think? The stippled designer series paper uh, was out for a while, but it's back. It looks to me like everything was in stock. The last I checked, I did not, I haven't checked the list today, but yesterday, as of yesterday, there was nothing. All right, so just kind of put some of your donuts behind, some in front. I did two um, that are Sweet Sorbet and Pecan, two that are Petal Pink and Pecan, and then one that was Crumb Cake and Pecan. Okay, so we put those there, and then the last thing, I mean, you could leave it like that, but when you have sequins that match, why would you not use them? These are some of our cute little metallic sequins that I'll just add in for fun, and there you go. All right, a Kit Kat. Now, Lisa, I don't know. I don't know. I think you guys all need to go get a donut Kit Kat, and we'll see if we agree with Lisa. Lisa says she's, she doesn't like them, which is fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I just, I don't know. I'm going to give one to my kids tonight. We'll see what they say. All righty. So that is that. I've got one more project for you. Let me get my drink again. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. Right in front of me. No snakes yet. With the sun yesterday, I was very careful on my walk, making sure that no um snakes made a, a reappearance hopefully i sat out on the porch and i had to dig around the cushions and make sure there were no snakes in the cushions you guys that's just a pain i'm paranoid now outside <sighs> all right one last box again we're not using the um ice cream we are using the cherries and the strawberry inside this box is a new treat found at walmart too um, called Sella's Squares Milk Chocolate Cherry. This is the company that makes those chocolate covered cherries. I've never seen them in squares. And the bag even said new at the top before I cut it off. So they come in a bag like this. There are 10 all together in the box or in the bag. Um, I haven't tried them. They're about the size of a Ghirardelli square. So this box would hold Ghirardelli's as well. All right, let's make the box first. This time we're using real red because we are using this paper right here. Now we have a cherry stamp set also that um, this paper would go really well with. This is celebration paper. It's the Sunny Days designer series paper. I have a bigger sheet here for you to look at. We, we did a whole Sunny Days Facebook Friday. Remember the clouds, the rainbows, um, the lightning. <laughs> um, this is what, but they're not all, not all the pieces in that set are, are that themed. I mean, there's this and then there's strawberries also. So it, it goes well with this stamp set is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know if you guys weren't here in the fall, there was a snake. Um, I, what was it called? You guys, I can't remember what kind it was. <sighs> Why am I drawing a blank? It's very poisonous. Somebody say it. Denise, what was it? I keep saying a brown recluse, but that's a spider. It was brown. I don't know. Somebody will tell me. Somebody will remind me of what kind of snake it was. Right outside my office. Copperhead. Thank you, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Copperhead. And I think it lives right out those windows out there under the rocks. It doesn't live there anymore. It went to snake heaven. Or maybe another place. <laughs> um, but, you know, where there's one, there's many. There's more. All right, cherry box, here we go. Real red, four and a fourth by nine. 
score the long side at three, four, seven, and eight. Turn it and score it at one and three and a fourth. Now, this box has one end that has these two one inch sections right here. So we're gonna start with that section. Let's burnish our lines. Um, here. No, I had, oh, I had a bone folder there. So the saying that I used to say all the time, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. You know, like if something's sitting right in front of you. I don't say that anymore <laughs> because that snake could have bit me. It was very, very close. Um, we had um, a copperhead, a, um, well, a rat snake and a coral snake all within about seven days of each other. So I'm very paranoid. First thing we're gonna do is cut these squares off, okay? So just cut those off. This is gonna be the little flap that folds over. And then these little tabs right here are these little flaps. So if you cut them this way, they would be connected to this part, which would make it harder to close. So you want them connected here on the sides. So to do that, you come from the, sh the, the short side and cut them like this, okay? And if you want, you can cut the corners off. You don't really have to because they're not going down into anything. My uh, bone folder had something on it. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I don't know, it looked like ink. You know, oh, I know what it is. What? I have something that leaked down into my bone folder holder. All right, also let's cut these right here like this and like this. All right, now let's use liquid glue. Took over a week, a good time. If I, hold on, I missed that comment. I should have hand delivered. I have no idea what happens to mail some days. I know, Mary, me too, me too. I love my postal workers. I love them, but something happens. <laughs> something happens over there, I don't know. I don't know. All right, fold in and fold in like this. Okay, now I can see See right here how this is sticking out? That's because I cut on the outside of the score line. So I'm just gonna trim that off right there. So I, I think I told you, Addie found um, $300 in a wallet at an estate sale a couple weeks ago. So now she's begging to go to estate sales. So I think we're gonna do some estate sales tomorrow. You're gonna fold these over. They kind of hug the sides. Have you guys gone to any estate sales lately? We've kind of become obsessed with estate sales. She turned the money in because I made her, <laughs> not because she wanted to. And they gave her $100 of it, finder's fee. So now she thinks she's going to find money in a wallet at every estate sale that we go to. You know, that never happens but I'm not gonna tell her that because I like that she wants to go there with me. All right, that piece goes on the front. This piece goes here. The measurements for this are on the PDF. Okay, it's pretty. It's a pretty small box. Put your three things down in there. And then when you fold this over, what I've done is I've designed it so that this piece right here holds the flap in place. So we'll, I'll show you that in a second. Let's do our stamping. This time you're gonna stamp um, three cherries. One, two, three, and one strawberry. Um, we're making like a little, oops, there's another dimensional backing, goodness. Um, we're making like a little um, fruit cup <laughs> of cherries and strawberries. This is um, part of the ice cream swirl dies. I guess it's designed to be maybe a, if you wanna make a cup of ice cream, it would go under like that, maybe. 
Actually, you know what? Could we have cut that? Is that the same size as that? No, it's a little bit bigger because that could make your pocket, but I think it, it's a little bit too big. Um, okay, we're going to color these, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because you've already seen me color these. I'll do one cherry, um, and you've already seen me color the strawberry using the blender pen for the garden green. Color your cherry with light, real red, and then take your dark and just do some dark right there and kind of go around like that. And then pecan pie for the stem, like that. All right, so color, cut. I did it ahead of time, there we go. Um, and now let's put it all together. I have cut a stylish shaped circle and this is also from the Everyday Details dies. We're gonna use that th same Thanks stamp this time in, nope, I've got Sweet Sorbet and Real Red here. We used Sweet Sorbet on the last project. This time we're gonna use Real Red. Like that. There we go. Ooh, that stamped really well. Now let's take our little, this looks like a cupcake paper to me, you know, like a cupcake liner, little cupcake holder. And we'll take that and put that right there. And then we'll take, it looks a little off-centered. I only put the dimensionals down at the bottom so that we can slide this fruit in here. I'm gonna start with a strawberry. We'll tuck that in like that. And then we'll do the three cherries. We'll put one like that. Hey, you guys, I've been watching um, something. It's not new. But I'm pretty convinced it's the funniest show on TV right now. It's Abbott Elementary. Have you guys watched it? I don't know. My husband doesn't think it's that funny. I, maybe it's just because I was a teacher. It's about a, a little elementary school in Baltimore and the teachers. It is hilarious. If you haven't checked it out, it's like a 30-minute little comedy that comes on ABC on Wednesdays. It's also on Hulu. I've been kind of binge watching the first couple of seasons. It is so darn funny. But I say that and then I wonder, do I find it funny only because I'm a, I was a teacher? Um, I don't know. I just think it's hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, um, who just said that? Um, Paula, sorry. She says, now I have to buy the set. How could this not already be on your list? It's so stinking cute. Yeah, Nancy, it looks like an ice cream dish. I, I think that is what it is, an ice cream dish, but to me, it looks like a, uh, a cupcake liner. Okay, so take your thing, your flap, and fold it down, and put the first dimensional like right under there, and then that way, we'll have this on there holding that closed. All right, it's gonna slide underneath and behind. Okay, so you guys find it funny and you're not teachers? I told my mom, like, mom, you've gotta watch this show. It is so darn funny. You know, I miss the little 30 minute sitcoms. Remember, you know, we used to have sitcoms, Friends. Um, I mean, you could go way back to Growing Pains, um, Family Ties. Why don't we have more of those shows? I love those just funny little shows. Now it's all game shows and reality TV, and I don't like either of those. So when I find a funny show, I'm like, yes. There was another show on a few years ago called AP Bio. Did y'all ever see that? It's been canceled. I think it was only two, maybe three seasons. I think the third season it went to streaming. It was hilarious. It was about a high school, high school teacher. And uh, oh my gosh. It was funny in a different way. He uh, was teaching high school because he had to, not because he wanted to. I'm looking for my glue dots and I can't find them. Are they over there? Yes, they are. And uh, he was just like ridiculous. It was, it was funny. AP Bio. Did you like that one too, Mary? It was funny. Lisa, you know, I watched Big Bang Theory on and off. I should go back and watch that. My mom loves Young Sheldon. And I know a lot of people have watched that and I have not watch that one at all. That's like the backstory, right, of Sheldon on Big Bang Theory. Uh, yes, Cheryl, my favorite ribbon. And there you go. I mean, you have to use a gingham ribbon when you make a little cherry fruit cup, right? How cute. Has anybody tried these? 
I had never seen them before. Let's just tear into it. I'm not going to eat it. Home economics? I haven't heard of that one, Heather. What is that one on? You know, when you're a teacher, there are some things that are just funny. I don't know. Look, mm, maybe I do want to try that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is very good. Okay. I'm not usually a fruit and chocolate person, but that is good. All right, you guys. Of course, now I have food in my mouth. How rude. Hulu. Okay, Heather. That's also what um, Abbott Elementary is on. Hold on. Let me swallow so it's not, I'm not being rude. AB Bio was so good. I mean, he was the worst, but he was hilarious. The other one... Who was it who messaged me this week? Susan, was it you about um, um, Resident Alien has come back on? And I hesitate to recommend Resident Alien because it is so dumb, but it is also laugh out hilarious. It's on the sci-fi network. And um, I don't remember what that guy's name is. You will recognize him. He is he does a lot of voice acting and he is hysterical. Anyway, okay, three projects. Um, today, these are the three projects you'll get in your make and take pack if you put in order. Now, this is the last week to take advantage of celebration, you guys. Um, you get something free with a $50 purchase, something free with a $100 purchase, and it's stackable. So if you spent $300, that would be six $50 items or $300 items or $100 item and four, but you know, you see what I'm saying? Like it's not just one and done. You get as however many, you know, spend a thousand dollars. No, <laughs> what I'm saying is that however much you spend, it keeps adding on. You'll also get these projects for free. Um, I am working towards a goal that I have not met yet. So next week, I will be emailing you guys. Um, I think I might have some kind of um, fun leap day special. I'm not sure yet. Stay tuned. Check your email. Make sure you um, make sure you subscribe to my email. Okay. Um, real quick, let me show you the bonus cards. This one was yesterday. Um, I colored the strawberries pink. I don't know if it photographed well, but I colored them so that they would match the pink strawberries in the paper celebration paper also here's this one um that's a little confetti die that we did not use oh that made a squeaky noise this right here is the confetti you can make all kinds of confetti that's great for shakers also this paper the glimmer paper this is all online exclusives coming out the 5th of almost said may the 5th of uh, march and then this one i love those cherries i know we have another cherry stamp set um, that's specifically cherries, but these little guys are just cute and they're really easy to color. So I just wanted to use them with, um, that awesome background stamp too. Anyway, these two will be on my blog next week. Okay. We made it. Go leave Ellie a comment. Tell her she can't keep the cat that you agree with her mother. Okay. You guys don't tell her, don't tell her she can keep the cat, the cat. Hey, Nancy. Yes. Nancy just reminded me that if you happen to spend $300, you actually get an extra $30 in stamp and rewards. Um, there's information on that in the, the back of the celebration catalog. Um, but it'll also tell you over in your shopping cart, like, hey, you have stamp and rewards to redeem. $300 is kind of a sweet spot during celebration. They add an extra $30 on. So, okay, you guys, that's it. I hope you have a great week. Next week, I'll be back with a new online exclusives that'll be coming out the following week. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great weekend and thanks for joining me. Bye everybody.